¿Qué tal amigos de Cine Gamers? Y bienvenidos a un nuevo video de Thumbbreakers de Witcher Tale con su buen amigo el Peter que el día de hoy les trae un nuevo episodio. Y ay, y ay, y ay, y ay. Bueno, ¿qué les digo amigos? Ha sido un día largo, largo, largo. Pero ya sé que con ustedes ya pude jugar un poquito. A veces me gustaría jugar mucho más este juego pero pues tengo que detenerme para pues poder ayudarlos por si se llegan a atorar porque luego yo me atoro y como que mucha gente pues, no conozco a nadie que haya subido el juego en la de máxima dificultad y eso no está chingón vamos a ver qué hay aquí ok Acá. Blackbrook Vale, the name itself embodied infamy. Neve arrived expecting misty ravines, decrepit trees bound in spiders' webs and swarms of bats. What she saw was a warmly gurgling stream and the valley's gentle slopes blanketed in crocus blooms. Only a village of abandoned, ruined huts and a cemetery stretching to the horizon behind it attested to the valley's grim past. The village seems shrouded in a guise. Be not deceived, said the queen. Reynard, some men to search the environs for any sign of life. The blood-curdling roar that came from the ruins a moment later proved the queen's caution warranted beyond any doubt. Okay. A ver, eh, no, no, no. Army's a waste of time for them like me. Left, right, left, right. Esta la tenemos un poquito difícil, pero no es imposible, amigos. Aquí solamente tenemos que ganarle por puntajes, esto no está tan complicado. Ahora sí vamos a bajar a Isabel. It's not too late to y con todo el daño que nos está dado haciendo, uff, la vamos a inflar y no mamadas. Tenemos 
baño. Técnicamente ya se la metimos y bien duro. Inflamos a la buena Isabel por si le queda, la quieren matar. Aunque le veo casi imposible. ¿Cuánto daño le están haciendo, eh? O sea, hijos de Supreme Floyd. Mm, aquí. Y inflamos aquí. Bueno, 200, bastante decente. Y ya no puede ni siquiera usar su propia carta. Per Perso. Ok, pues no estuvo tan difícil. Amigos, yo aquí me voy despidiendo porque ya lo demás es bla 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 y los veo en el siguiente video. Que estén bien, ya hasta la próxima. Following the victory, the settlers hope seemed renewed. Could the beasts they felled have killed the previous lot of colonists? Perhaps the curse that had long hung over Blackbrook Vale was at last broken. We thank you, Your Majesty. The settlers' leader said, slipping the satchel from his shoulder. You have granted us new hope and a new home. The dwarves had rolled up their sleeves, were prepared to go at the huts to repair them, when one of their number cried out, Hold! There's something here! Something reeky! A voice most familiar, thought Meave. Yes, for it belonged to Barnabas, the rescued inventor. The gnome had elbowed his way to the fore, stood on his toes, extended his nose, and inhaled through it like a pointing hound seeking out wildlife. Ignoring all queries, Barnabas had then sat down on the brook bank, filled a glass flask with water, and was now holding it up against the sunlight, dipping into it the tip of his tongue and some strange scraps of paper extracted from the depths of the pockets of his patched coat. Finally, Barnabas stood, brushed his backside clean, and announced his findings. Well... We know with some certainty the reason for the settlers' demise. It were not beasts, no. They prowled in later, drawn by fresh graves. It was the water. Oh, roll your eyes and whirl your fingers all you want, and then, here at the brook, nearly a fish, all poisoned by subterranean fumes. The dwarves hemmed, hoard, and grumbled, and were a heartbeat from abandoning the veil for good. Then Barnabas reached into his satchel and extracted a device of his own making he termed an aqua purificator. That is to say, a water cleaner, as odd as it may seem. You need but siphon water through this straw. Then drink up. Worry free! Thus Meave rode out of Blackbrook Vale, deep satisfaction in her heart. The dwarves extolled her for being bold, shrewd, and wise, while Gabor ensured this praise would likewise reach the meaty ears of Elder Hoog. We're the dwarves of Mount Carbon. Hoo hoo ha! Hoo hoo ha! And two hammers is our sign, is our sign! <laughs>